Yeah, I'm kind of like a big time producer. You most likely don't know that about me because um, you're kind of stupid. That's not true. Probably. Listen, I became obsessed with Kickstarter for a few months slash years. And because of that, I funded a lot of feature length films and also films that are not so feature length. I was one of the sheeple who donated to the Veronica Mars project. And although I do feel like I got my money's worth, you know what Veronica Mars didn't have? Puppets. I have been fascinated about puppetry ever since Sesame Street. Jim Henson's creations hold this really special place in my heart, almost as big as David Bowie's package in Labyrinth. And did somebody say puppets? Oh my goodness. Saki? I can't believe, we haven't seen you in forever. Gosh. I know. I'm getting to know you. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. No one, this is a no singing zone, this video. This is a no singing zone. If I can't sing, nobody can. Now, as I segue away from that and pretend it was entirely normal, you may be wondering why I brought up puppets in the first place, and it's because I donated to a short film called Keith and Heath. The film stars John Cozart, who you may know or remember as Paint here on YouTube. He did that After Ever After video that got exactly one gajillion views here on YouTube. Cute as a button. Can button, would you describe a button as cute? It's odd that you would, I mean, they're functional. He's functional as a button. It was written and directed by Andy Young, and if I do say so myself, which I can because I am completely alone, forever and for always. He does this really super job in creating a very unique short film. It is both bonkers crazy and funny. I really look forward to seeing how he grows as a filmmaker. I also love the guy because I am now officially on the IMDB, the Internet Movie Database. It's like the new phone books are here. I'm a somebody now! And even though I may be Kyle Marshall in brackets Roman numeral 4, I still cherish the fact that I can go onto the page and start editing credits for myself. I don't really know how I'm supposed to notate a YouTube series for Kyle Marshall in brackets Roman numeral 4, but at least I feel not quite as narcissistic as if I had created this all from scratch for myself. That would just be sad. If you'd like, you can contribute to Kyle Marshall in brackets Roman numeral 4 if you have an IMDb account already, and if so, go nuts. Mostly, I just find it cool, Roman numerals or no, that I'm on this website that I have gone to for over a decade for movie news and trivia and information. Uh, what, what trivia could we add to my page? I like the color teal and the sound of sandpaper when it's rubbed together. Ugh, I just gave myself shivers. I mean, I've had other perks before. I've received digital copies of some of the movies. I've gotten mailed thank you cards. I've even had a chance to collaborate with Michael Aranda. Isn't that right, Michael? Um, yeah, that's not something I'd ever be interested in doing. Fair enough. Well, you should still watch The Water's Fine when it's available. You can find some of the projects I've donated to down in the description to this video. How do you like puppets? What did you think about Keith and Heath? Let me know that down in the comments section below. So, in conclusion, I'm a pretty big deal. And I love you so much for watching me. Uh, my name is Kyle Marshall in brackets Roman numeral 4. I will see you all again next Thursday where I'll be getting to know you, getting to know more about...